part two of the paint plot uh, tutorial uh, and we're going to add a couple more things including uh, some variables that allow us to change the size of the lines and or circles that we draw so actually first thing I want to make sure you guys know how to do is to add the ability to draw a line so I'm going to bring this one in it says canvas one drag and we're going to add a procedure that's one of the built-in procedures it's called draw line there we go we'll pop this one in here and we got to do get the previous y and we got to get the previous x oh i bet you we can just change this once we pop it in right yep okay so this should be previous y and then we need a current y but we're just going to grab this one and we'll go current y and we'll just grab these because we can just change them once they're in the current x okay that's something that we can do it makes things easier all right let's move actually back to the designer and we want to do uh, some basic things here we're going to improve our design screen here so under layout we're going to add a uh, we're going to add another uh, horizontal arrangement so we'll get this one drag it out pop it in there and uh, we're going to set the width to fill parent got that one we need a couple buttons so this will be our uh, minus button oh no we'll do this one as the plus button so we should rename this this is our plus button and uh, text we can just put a plus symbol and then we should probably uh, change the width to about 33% so that it goes right in the middle there and then we need another button we'll drag in and this will be actually you know what well actually I'm going to delete this we'll, we'll do that one in a second I'm going to bring in a label and our label is going to be this will be our how about our dot size label and we'll change the text to dot size equal to and then we're going to be able to put the, a variable in there so we'll just start off with that and then we'll add one more actually let's make sure the width is 33 percent there we go and maybe the height should be a little bit bigger so what if we have once we do 30 there yeah okay looks a little bit better and then the last thing let's bring in a last button and we'll make the width 33 percent and the text will be a minus and we will call this the minus button yes. okay and so now we got our buttons dot size actually looks a little big so let's let me bring this down to 30. see what happens and this it's okay that looks that looks better better than it did okay there's a little space but not much we're going to be able to do that okay very good let's get into our coding to uh, make sure that we can uh, change the size of our of our, uh, of our buttons here. So one thing we're going to need off the bat is a variable. So we'll call this variable dot size. And we're going to start it off at how about five, and then we'll need to set up for our plus but our plus and our minus buttons so let's see here when the plus button is clicked we're going to have to change the value of we'll reset dot size equal to let's see here how about change this to an oh no we can't do that so I need an addition so there it is so It'll be dot size plus one. And then we'll just do a quick little little hack here. We'll duplicate this it's to the minus button. And then can we turn this into minus? Not easily. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And then we gotta get the minus. And we need to get the dot size. And we'll get a 
another one. All right, so on the plus button, the minus button clicked. Okay. And then instead of the radius being 10, we're going to take this out of here. We're going to set the radius equal to whatever the value of dot size is. So there we go. We should be able to set it up that way. And uh, I believe that is it. There's some customization challenges for you. Adding a fourth button, adding a custom image, and then get finding a way to change the line thickness. But that should be the first two parts of our paint pot app. Good luck.